We're live. Hello, 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 everyone. It's Kim from KNRP here in southeastern Manitoba. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous, sunshiny day out there. It is 11 degrees Celsius. It was minus one the other day that I was on. Wait. Okay. Had to turn that off. Okay. Uh, 11 degrees, sunny, warm, nice, which means it's 51 degrees Fahrenheit. It was in the minuses the last time I was on, so this is going to be lovely. Jean's here with me today. Yay, we're going to play envelopes. Yay, we have lots of ideas. Oh, no. Hi, Anne. Here's Jean. <laughs> I was checking the temperature here. Ha. Huh. 78. That's nice. Except it's windy. Earlier today, I was sitting in here, and I have a hummingbird feeder right outside my window. Oh. I don't have my curtains i call them curtains but they're just shredded fabric um open so i can't really see it right now but the wind was blowing it and i got this pretty sparkle across my desk nice so, hi Anne and melinda and candy and, and Ian. yeah we've got people here to watch us it's 48 Yay. there awesome Jean has the most incredible curtains. When she says it's kind of like shredded fabric, it is, but it's like Let's see if I can... tassels. It's like a tassel curtain. That's Isn't that curtain. gorgeous? Oh, and yeah. then I have things clipped to it that hang, and people have given me little trinkets and stuff, and that all hangs on top of hangs off of it, clipped on pinned on um you know when you go to a grocery store and they have those things on the um shelves that are long and have clips on them yes i have a bunch of those too and i just put them on the curtain rod and clip things to them Excellent. i'm going to put my treasures up there instead of my supplies because i don't think to take them off <laughs> awesome 52 where Anne is 48 where candy is so we're all reasonably the same, except for Jean, who is yeah, really nice and warm. Yeah, that's the, that's the living in the desert. We're getting there. We're getting there. Ron is pumping out the yard right now. It still has a coating of ice on top. So he's dug a hole in the ice and shoved the pump hose in there to drain that swamp we've got back there. All right. And where do you drain it to? The front ditch. See, there's a ditch on the side of our next-door neighbor's house because we're one away from the corner, and it's a beautiful deep ditch. But the people behind my next-door neighbor's house tilled that all up. Ron had dug a trench because a couple of neighbors back, we had a deal that, you know, we could have this trench at the very back of the yard so that we could drain the water off in the spring because a good back quarter of their yard floods as well. So they didn't have a problem with it. Then the last people who lived there tilled it all up and, and filled it all in. So we've got a new neighbor moved in last summer. And he actually came over and talked to Ron because he saw Ron out with the pump yesterday. And so he's all for digging this trench. And our new next door neighbor who moved in last fall also is into digging this trench because his backyard, half of it is underwater as well. So that when Ron pumps, he's pumping out like four different yards because we're the only ones with the pump and, and the know-how. So anyway, <laughs> he's pumping out the yard. We could have fish jumping back there. What I wanted to do is make shark's fins because if there's a lot, of water and the corner culvert is still frozen what happens is it goes to the front it goes across my front the wrong way down my other side of my yard it kind of goes all the way around my yard like a moat it cycles that <laughs> way so i want to make shark's fins on styrofoam and float them i never well, have got a lot it would be fun yeah crocodiles would be good oh they would all right want to explain what we're doing today jean well, I found a video. You know how Kim and I roll. You see something, it's like, oh, we got to make it. And they were making um, little folder type things out of envelopes. And so I've been playing. I This is as close to finished as I have. I used the pages to reinforce it. 
this is nothing like the way hers was. Um, I used, I mean, all I've seen was her Instagram reel. So, you know, I had to kind of make it do. But then I watched hers. I'm still not 100% sure what she did. But, you know, it doesn't matter. As long as you make something, it doesn't matter how you make it. So this was one envelope like this. And I cut this. And um, I reinforced the whole thing with book pages. And this is a pocket, which I'll have a, a divot in here. But I have learned the hard way. You can't match up that divot when you put some pretty papers on top. So I haven't punched it yet. And then I'm going to put some pictures in here. Am I, gonna, I don't know if I'm going to use both windows or not. But probably. And so... It, I, I didn't have to cover this if I do something in the windows, but I did because of the stability. I just wanted that. So I, I was playing around, and I, I have this one, and I left a little here so there's a little more room to get in the pocket. This will all be covered with paper because it will be part of the back. And I'm not sure how she did hers, but she... You know, it was more like this. So maybe my windows aren't in the same places. I don't know. I really don't know. But I'm okay with that. And then I'm going to decorate that. This one, I have just started. I just made my mark where I'm going to cut it. And this one, I love this window. Again, I got two fold lines because I think I want it like this. And just... I don't save envelopes at all, and I just paid bills yesterday and then found this, so I dug them out of the trash. And anyway, this one was really torn up down here, so it's a short, I mean, it was a long envelope, but now it's a short one. And so I was playing around with this, and I think this is what I want to do, so like the whole thing is going to be a window. And um, all my, you know, edges are going to have to be glued to be a pocket, but that's okay, because what I did on this one it was the same, because I, like I said, I don't save them. Had I known I was going to save them, I would have cut them open. Um, yes, Anne. For you know where Belinda is, sorry. Um, but, so they were all open on one side, you know, like I got the mail and I ran the letter opener. So none of them were completely closed up. And then this is another one I have folded. But this one has a plan. You know, you got to practice to get your plan. So this one, I um, had been up here when the bill came. So I just taped it shut with just scotch tape because that's the way I want it to open like this on the bottom. So th this side, I had to open this side. And then this is like this. I could cut this off. I mean, honestly, I don't need this part because by the time you put something on the front and something on the back, you really don't need this part. But hey, you know, it is what it is. I don't know for sure. You know, you never know if you're going to use it, so I leave it. And then if I don't want to use it, I don't have to. But this one's going to come down like this and have this window. And then this is going to open up like a little book. And I'm going to put a pocket on both sides. And maybe a couple papers of a signature. Nothing real big because I don't want a lot of bulk. But I did leave a little bit of a spine there. So, that, you know, it's all going to be different in how you do it. And this is the one I'm going to work on to show you what I did on cutting. So... I measured up about where I want that to come down and be the windows. And um, because I already have this side open, I could bring this down and that could be a side pocket and that would be fine. I don't want a side pocket though. <laughs> I want, I mean, I want it to come this way because I don't really make a lot of journals. So this could be something I send somebody with some little ephemera in it. And if I have this side open, it's all going to fall out. I know. That's just the luck of the draw. So all I'm going to do is I drew a line. 
and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to cut this just the single layer. And yes, it's going to be crooked. I can't cut a straight line to save my life. Okay, I've lost my curse. I'm making you big, Jean, because I should have had you big from the beginning. Hi, Susan. Nice to see you. I've lost my stinking cursor. Ah, you know. I'm going to fold this down like this. But if you look, and this is where I got confused on how she did it. So I think it's something you've just got to play with and come up with what works. If you do it like this... There's no pocket, but if you do it, if you bring it around, there's no windows. So you have to kind of play with what you're going to do. So one thing is if you cut this, and this is how I like to cut a sealed envelope. I take a cheapy blade like this and lay this flat and it once in a while it'll mess up but for the most part it cuts it pretty darn perfect so you can take this now and fold it down like this and look you have your pocket you have a little overlap here that could just have something pretty on it but you can get to your pocket much easier we'll just glue this side and what i found I found cardstock that I'm going to use today, but if you're using, say, you're going to use a printable or something like that, then by all means, glue this shut. But for me, because I used book pages to go around it, because I, I folded them over the edges, I'm just going to take scotch tape and just give it a, a little bit of its own reinforcement there. So... Maybe because I might put this up for a while and realize, oh, wait, that's supposed to be pockets. So, you know, I might not remember that, you know, next week if I pick this up. So this is kind of, I mean, yes, you got that fold there, but, um, and I could have done it different by not folding it. But I wanted you to see how much work I put into to try to come up with the different ways to fold these. And yes, this is loose here, but you can put something over it to cover it. And now you'll have to do the back. Um, because, you know, when you open it out, you don't want this to be what you see. So now it's down to the decorating. And I can't believe that I actually had this many envelopes. And I haven't used any of these envelopes yet. The ones that are you know, the return envelopes, because I think those will be, you know, I might find a better, better way to do it yet. I don't know. We're just going to play and create and kind of talk you guys through what we're doing. If you've got envelopes, by all means, play along. Um, but we're just experimenting to get like little folio kind of folder things. Does that make sense? So the majority of my envelopes are all cut open as well. Um, I like to use them as journal pages. So when I say they're cut open, they are usually cut so that I can put it as a journal page. But we're going to play and see what we can come up with. Forty-eight, where Belinda is. So her temperature is actually chillier than mine. Okay, let's see if I've got. I have just some fully wall envelopes too. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Teresa. Not a lick. <laughs> So yeah, we're just going to take some envelopes and practice. So this one, as I said, was cut all the way because it was going to be a journal card. So what I did was I just kind of measured and cut right across this. And I haven't decided how I want to fold it or anything yet. 
I do have tracing paper so that I can mark your mummy. Tell me that did not make a lick of sense. Ah, that's a good saying. You know what? I have to get back to the momisms. I forgot all about them. I have to write that one down. I have to add that to our momisms. And I have to uh, get back on that. See? Rabbit hole. <laughs> Okay, so I was going to start with this envelope. The reason I love envelopes is because of their inside. They're different, and they make nice, plain backgrounds, obviously. So I don't know if I'm going to have mine fold open and then have a couple of pockets. I think that's what I'm going to do. Jean had talked about that. And then this, I don't want it folded quite that deep. I want to leave a space because it would come down like this. Oh, I could do that. Okay. So then this one would flip up. This could be sealed or maybe it could be a side tuck. I think I'll make it into a side tuck. And then this is going to open so that I've got a couple of pockets inside. Oh, she's in the process of moving? Okay, Belinda. Not a problem. No, moving isn't a lot of fun at all. Okay. So, the one thing she did do was she took a piece of vellum, actually. I'm going to cut this the width of that. Just going to take a ruler and lop off a hunk of the tracing paper. Maybe. <laughs> I'm struggling. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down and I'm going to draw my window. I was looking for my scissors. Now, on the one I'm working on right now, oh, well, crap. I screwed that up. I screwed that up big time. That's all right. It's paper. I can fix it. Okay. <laughs> and... Uh, who's going for coffee? Teresa's going for coffee and wants to know if there is a reason behind using envelopes other than using something you would otherwise trash. Um, I have a shoebox full of envelopes I've been saving for who knows what. <laughs> so when Jean sent that to me, I went, oh, let's do this. I have lots of envelopes. I don't have lots of envelopes. And I really did mess this up. But I mean, it would just be as easy. Like if you had, you can just grab a piece of copy paper. And I can show you how I would do it just on a piece of copy paper. Because it would be just as easy to do it on a piece of copy paper. Of course, you would cut it down to whatever size you wanted, right? But for now, I'm just going to use the whole sheet. I'm going to go big, Jean. Okay. Help give me time to fix my boo-boo. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, taking a piece of copy paper. If it was an envelope, it would be folded like a hot dog, right? In half like a hot dog. This way. The sides would be sealed. This would be open. Chances are you'd have a flap. But if it was a used envelope... We don't have the flap. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We're going to pretend this is an envelope, right? So then I would probably go and leave a couple of inches at the bottom. Let's get this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. Probably a couple of inches at the bottom. Well, that entire top, the two pieces at the top, move it over. 
like this. Okay. So now I have this. This, we could either have it as a side pocket or we could cut it. Let's cut that. Um, I like this fold where it is. So I'm going to cut this one on the fold. Just to the center fold, right? Right? Now, like Jean said, she likes a bit of a gap so she can actually put things in. Hey, Butterball, nice to see you. So, again, we could have it like this. And then that could open, same kind of thing. I'm just going to trim this off just a little bit because you get that um, where the fold is, you get the, that curled little piece of paper. So I'm just going to take a smidge off of this. Nope, not measuring. Nope, not using a straight edge. Nope, we're not rolling that way today. Okay. So then now I could do it this way. So it's like a book. And I could put pockets in, or I could give it a little bit of a spine, um, depending on what you want to do. So that could be like a book. Or you could do it like this. And from the open side, do a wobble cut or a straight cut, whatever your heart desires. We all know I like my wobbles. And then you could have just a nice big tuck, right? We have we would seal off the bottom and have a nice big tuck spot. Look, I even have bright orange so that you could see that could be a tuck spot there. And then this would fold down. It could be a pocket on the side and you could have another pocket here. It would just be a nice little something to tuck into a journal. That's what I'm thinking anyway. Does that make sense, Anne? You don't need to have windows. And if you wanted it to have a window, so then let's say we want this to have a window. Look, I have an oval thing. Top of a shampoo bottle. Let's, let's just pretend this is an envelope with a window. We're just going to trace around that. Because we can. And I'm just going to cut that out. Or if you've got a circle punch, you could just put a circular window in there. Whatever your heart desires. So now I have this. This is this is the cutout from that. So I kind of know what size of something I want to put in there. Does that make sense? You know, I'm just going to keep working on this one. And... Because we can. So I pulled out a whack load of dictionary page. I'm going to use that instead of painty papers or anything. We could make this a little bit bigger. We could use a circle. Whatever you like, right? So what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to open it up. First, I'm going to put this back. And then I'm going to draw a mark where the start of it is, uh, the two edges of it. So I know that that's going to be where my window is. So, so I, if I'm placing something on that, it's going to be folded down like this with the window in front, right? So what it, we need to know where that window is going to be so that we could put something there. Something like, something like this. No. How about this guy? He's pretty big, but, you know, he could have like a robot or a flower or something sticking out of the window. Maybe a monster. Those robots are pretty big. Um, so anyway, the mark is there on that one. 
So I want to make sure that we know exactly where those marks are. Because I am going to cover this whole page with book page. Well, I'm going to cover it from here. It doesn't really matter how far I go because I am going to be closing that off so that it's a tuck from the side. So because this is going to be behind, I can get away with putting it right against the edge like this. And I'm not worried about all the white space. You're welcome. I'm glad it makes sense. Because, you know, sometimes I just don't make sense. You think? Um, I know. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to put this here, and I'm going to draw a line around it. I'm marking this one so that I know where that window's going to be. Okay. Now I'm going to glue this down. The thing with having a full page like this, if you're putting a window in it, you're not going to have that plastic coating to protect, which is fine. You don't need to have that. So now I'm, I'm just gluing the whole piece and I'm putting the whole piece down. Not trimming it till it's down. The reason being, I'll show you why. What I'm thinking. Eh. Okay. So now I definitely have to trim this edge. And I can see where my window is going to be. Right? I can see the marks for that. I just didn't line it up very good. My hands are like ice. It's really, really cold down here. Yeah, you can use thin plastic packaging. Or if you have a windowed envelope, I've got so much of it, I could just use the plastic from this and put it in. Hey, Malia, nice to see you. We are decorating envelopes. Except mine isn't an envelope. I'm just giving ideas of if you don't have an envelope, what you could use. You know, you know the way I roll. Okay, so that's where the window is. We know where the window is. Now this piece, now see? Huh. Now, if I want to bring this up as a little bit of a ledge, so it's just a little peaky window. But I can also do that. This is just the background on the inside. Just the background. Just the background. We're okay. We are okay. But I do have an idea. I know that doesn't surprise anybody. Well, I hope it doesn't surprise anybody. Dean, I'm pulling you back on. I'm going to the back forward to here. I need something. Oh, no. I made you big. Because I'm looking for something. Oh, I made me a template. Sorry, I'm off screen. I can't slide it up because I haven't um, lined up. And I didn't cut out my little windows because I have two and their placement is pretty important. I tried scribbling on the back of my template so that I could trace it. 
and it didn't work and neither did my tracing paper so i'm just gonna have to make it work by golly that's just all there is to it so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna cheat <gasps> no i'm gonna tape this in place <gasps> so i don't have to hold it so good and i am going to just cut my windows out. Well, that works. And I tried to cut just inside the line. Boy, that's nasty cuts. Someday, somebody's going to teach me how to cut a line. It won't be me. I'm better off with this than I am. Well, I know, I know, I know. Pair of scissors. The security code and target envelopes. I know some of these envelopes have some really cool. I just love them. Seriously, I love them for backgrounds. I was saying to Jean, I absolutely love this black and white stripe. You can't see me. I'm not on screen. Sharing, Jean. I'm sharing. Okay. It has a black and white stripe. I don't know how well you can see that. But it's it's wonderful. Oh, of course, it's going to tear off the paper. Oh, no. That's all right. We'll find a use. Of, see, and this is just wasted now because. Because. <laughs> oh, wait, it gets glued on here, so it doesn't matter. Oh, my God, those windows are nasty looking. Yeah, mine are too. But I have a plan. Well, I'm getting in with the tiny scissors now, and we'll see if we can't make this look a little bit okay. more. I've decided I'm trimming this off. What do I know? I just needed that to be something more of a background for whatever the heck I'm going to put in the window. How do you think I'm putting in the window yet? I think from now on on the windows, I'm not going to worry about the curve. No. No, that makes sense. You know what? I'm going to leave it. So this is what I've got for the front. And I did finally cut this for the back. It doesn't fit, but I don't know. I've got enough screw up, mess up pieces of paper here. Oh, I love can... those. <laughs> Where are those pictures from? Those are gorgeous. Me? Yeah. I don't know. It's some scrap of paper. I bought a those mushrooms that you have that you're putting in the windows. Those are flowers. They're flowers. They look like mushrooms from far away. Yeah. Okay, I'm close now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this one's right, but the windows aren't so good. I'd have probably done better piecing it. Oh, I am going way beyond what the original video showed in my mind. I am going over and beyond, over and beyond. I'm going to be using this. It is a one of my uh, gel print backgrounds that I have saved on the computer. I need another piece of it. I just need to put my printer on. Of course, I have to go all the way around my desk because I can't reach it from where I sit. <laughs> Do you guys have to walk like around your entire house before you can get to your printer? Or is it just me? Uh, from here, yeah, i got to go into another room. Okay. I don't feel so bad now. Don't feel so bad now. 
because my my printer's in the dining room. I'm trying really hard to keep the computer in here, or at least the camera. The computer goes back and forth to wherever I need it. So far, so good. Awesome. All right, just printing this. Got a new printer. And you actually have to tell it if you want it portrait or landscape. Otherwise, it, it defaults to landscape. And um, you lose half your picture. <laughs> it's a good thing I figured that out after the first one. And I went, why do I have like a two-inch margin on both sides instead of a full page? Now I need to ask, in Manitoba, we have lots of stucco covered buildings, which is like a white concrete-ish kind of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, Beth, nice to see you, hun. I had a friend up from Michigan and she couldn't get over how many houses were covered in stucco. Is stucco a common thing for you guys in, in your locations? Absolutely. Okay. Everything here, you go to Santa Fe and it's just about stucco all the way. Okay. The house we lived in when we moved from Odessa, Texas to here, it was stucco. It's huh. very expensive to get repairs done to it. Okay, Candy, take care. I hope you feel better soon. It's definitely a location thing. Bye, Candy. Yeah. Okay. My husband says we could never live in Santa Fe because um, they don't have landscaping. Everything is rocks. Oh. So there's the friend of mine. Um, I can see a little white here and here, and that bothers me, but I'll fix it later, either with ink or smudging it or something. So now I have to do this part. I'm going to have to cut a little piece to fit here or a piece that fits the whole way. And I think and I want something that goes down inside a little bit, so if I put the divot in the yeah right here i can um have something showing besides this not that i dislike this i just um it's not grabbing you yeah it just doesn't go with my pattern okay so i am just going to take this piece of paper and i'm just going to glue it down both sides here yeah i'm going to end up folding it and i will cut the window out once it's glued down. Because this is the outside of that pot. Yeah, when oh. I was in Virginia, I don't think I've seen stucco at all. No. But here, I mean, it's pretty common. We have brick and we have like Tyndall stone and vinyl siding and stuff here, but you might have like the front of my house is a combination of brick, cedar, and vinyl siding. Go figure. And the sides and back are stuck.
So I'm just putting that right up to the edge, straight up to the fold line. And I'm just covering this piece of paper with it. My so, house is completely cinder block. Your house is cinder block? With bricks around it. Huh. I know, it's weird, huh? Well, I guess maybe the bricks are just on the front now that I think about it. Okay. I feel like I'm doing surgery here. So what I've done is I had that full sheet of copy paper. And I folded it in half like a hot dog, right? And then I folded it this way so that I've got this little piece that's going to be a pocket. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a little bit over because I don't know if I want to fold it up or not. I'm looking for my ruler. Did you guys see where I put my ruler down? I just had it. I was just cutting stuff with it. Oh, you know? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, give it about half an inch ish. Ish. Cinder block. Okay. Upper part switch. Yeah. Yeah, it is, it is good. It um it takes a long time for it to warm up when it you know, going from seasons to seasons or even from morning to night, because you know, we are in the desert basically. Right. And so um it takes a while sometimes to get it to get to the right temperature but it does make the bills a little better a little okay so this is going to be the background that you see through the window so when it's closed the window is going to be here so i'm going to cut the window out now maybe And I am going to try and cut it a little bit neater than I cut it originally. Wish me luck. <laughs> Probably just wobble yeah. this. This is driving me nuts. This unevenness is really bad. Well, I can't say that's much better, but it is what it is. It's kind of like a cave opening. Maybe there's going to have to be a monster in there. Or a bat. Or a bat. Just big eyeballs. Okay, so now I'm going to trim this off level. No, what? <laughs> New plan. I'm going to trim this off by the front. Long where the window is. I have a plan. Okay, so I'm cutting that off where that window is. This angle, this corner here, I'm just going to snip off at a slight angle. You'll see why in a minute. And this one I'm going to trim just at a slight angle. So I'm going to have the opening on the sides, on the side, so something will tuck in here. So I need to glue across the top. As thin a bead of glue as I can get with this. Fold that over it down 
Make it for Presto. Kim has a plan. Drink. No, that's an idea. Oh, I didn't put a picture on that before I did this. I had a plan. I was going to put like little bars so that there were window segments and something peeking out like with hands over. It's not going to happen now. <laughs> no, it's still crooked, but it'll have to stay. It's better. New plan. Yeah, I inked it. so. New plan for me too. Are we gonna I don't love over? this, unfortunately. Pardon? I don't love this, unfortunately. Oh, I'm having a blast. I'm not saying I'm not having fun. I just don't love this one. Oh, okay. Are you guys following along with this? Am I going too fast? I don't know. You know. You need like a little fan trashy flower that will fit in there. Oh, you're cute. Look, that's cute. That'll glue down really nicely. There's not all kinds of wobblies out that uh, will get caught on things that are tucked into the pocket, I'll just glue that down really good. Our Sunday special, this Sunday on my channel, we are having a group craft along again. It's the first Sunday of the month, and hopefully we're going to continue this. The first Sunday of the month, there's going to be a group of us lovely crafters. And this week... We are doing, or this month, we are doing things with gel prints. So, of course, everybody's going to have their own style of what they're going to do. We have categories, of course. You um, take all the fun out of it, don't you? I do. I am taking all the fun out of this one. Next month is going to be a blast. I'm not, I'm not putting any categories or anything. Um, so, there's going to be... Everybody does their own style, but the categories are flip, tuck. What was the other one? Flip, tuck. Pocket. Pocket, folded pocket, a flip, a tuck. And then the last category is do what you would normally do with a gel print. So because there's going to be the whole group of us, I'm thinking there's probably nine of us again. Um, still spots for a couple more people if anybody wants to come and play. Um, the last category is do your own thing. So I'm planning on doing the projects really fast so I can spend the whole time on doing my own thing. <laughs> I don't use pockets and tucks. I, I don't, know. Really, don't really make journals. So I know. Not that I but, have. But, Jean, this little thing that you're doing right now, you could do a pocket to slip in one of the pockets or add a pocket to it, right? Yeah. I'm thinking I might do one of these. That's why I haven't used all of my envelopes yet. Yet. Operative word, yet. Okay, I had to cut off a piece of the stem because I am now going to fold this up. Oh, I'm going to have to cut it down just a little bit because you can't see both leaves very well. So after all that, I need to trim it about in half. And then we're just going to put glue on it, fold it up and glue it. And that will be my first pocket for this. What are they called, Jean? Yeah, this thing that we're making. We're, we're this this thing. This thing. So this it is what we're doing this this Sunday is we are doing gel prints. Okay, so I have my first tuck down. And of course, 
I didn't pay any attention to what I'm doing, so it doesn't cover the entire tuck pocket that I had anticipated. I can change that because I still have to cover this in paper so I can bring it up higher. Other is definitely your favorite. I think other is everybody's favorite. Next month in May, the first Sunday in May, we're having a blingathon. That's right, blingathon. We are going to use bling on lots of different things. I'm probably going to watch that one. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, although this is a pocket, we have the window. Right? So, it would be like a curtain call. Do, 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 do. Voila! Now you see it, now you don't. Now you don't. Now you see it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So, now. <laughs> Come here, tangent, we'll uh, leave the building now. Of course, this doesn't fit in here. Of course. Now, if I do it as a tuck, no, it still won't fit in there. I'm showing you all the mistakes you can make, so I hope you're all watching really close. Me too, me too, me too, me too, me too. So I fold this over, and I'm going to have to trim this envelope because it's not, yeah, it's, yeah. But it just shows that you can still do these things and save your boo-boos. We can. So now I had to do that, and now this is open. And I could do, you know, a fold it over and make a pocket. But I don't want to do that. I want my pocket here. Remember, I don't want the side pocket. So all I have to do is go in there and glue it. Easy peasy. I have an idea. If. Uh-oh. Do you have an idea? I do. I'm thinking. Me too, Anne. So I had thought that I was going to have a tuck spot here. And this fold down. Now, the thing is, I would still like it to open up. So if I do this, covered in this, I was going to say fabric. This paper, and it goes like this. If we're tucking it into an envelope or a pocket in a journal, or if we're paper clipping it into a journal, or whatever we're doing with this thing, I hope you guys are drinking. It's Friday. Come on. You guys made up the game. When Kim says she's got an idea, you guys have to drink. I'll drink. Me too. I'm drinking room temperature water without a straw. That's a big problem for me. <laughs> so, I need paper to cover this and paper to cover this. I don't have to do anything with this backside if I don't want to because it's the backside. And unless I'm putting a pocket on it, Bob's your uncle, right? Like, Seriously. And I could have put a pocket on the front, too. Yep. Water's what I have to drink. I had two teeth pulled this week. So, water it is. But by golly, I had me some coffee this morning. <laughs> Oh, now see, because this doesn't cover this whole piece, I can get away with cutting this one down. Oh, so many ways to fix up this, this mess. We're just going to 
change the profile of this. And in 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 uh, response to your comment, um, that's what I used to tell people when I taught in person classes. Is it part of the reason you take pay to take a class is so that you can learn the mistakes we've already made. So you can make either make your new ones or not make any. Exactly. So I'm just going to glue this down onto the bobble cut now. Oh, look, I have to trim just a little bit more. Now I'm trimming this to fit my paper because I don't want to print another sheet of this. And if anybody's wondering what I'm doing, I am reinforcing the edges of this pocket um, with Yeah, dictionary, sorry, say library paper, dictionary paper. All right. And remember, we like to reinforce the edges of pockets because they get a lot of wear and tear if people are putting things in, taking things out. This pocket, they have to make sure that anything that goes in there has to be big, otherwise it's going to fall out the window. because I did not cover the window. Hey, Dr. Thunder. <laughs> I'm drinking bubbly. Fizzy water. Now, I don't know if you guys can see my edge. I have to cut gently along that edge. And of course, I don't have a laser printer, so this is just an inkjet printer. So anything, if I put anything on this, the ink is going to smudge. And then I am going to cut across the bottom. Now I could put a little tuck spot in there if I want. Or I could put a little pocket. I don't know what I'm doing on here yet. All I know is that I want to cover this whole piece now in this pink paper. And I'm going to match it up as good as I can. As good as I can? What? I'm going to try and match it up. Solve the edge. Cool. Of course, this kind of thing does go better with a glue stick, but we know how I feel about glue sticks and how they feel about me. This is going to be really pink. So yeah, you could use envelopes and I'm supposed to be using envelopes because I have to use them up. But you know what? Either way, this is a test run. It's fine. Lining that edge up. Push it down. Oh, I have this. That pink almost goes together, you know? If I want to put pockets. Hmm.
I've totally deviated from the plan, Jean. Do you realize that? <laughs> Does that I'm trying, the, trying to find the right part that's going to go for my bottom sheet that looks just perfect, you know? Yeah. And I'm not having the best of luck. I'm going to try and get this as straight as possible. You know, I could take it over to my paper cutter and cut it, but <laughs> that would be too easy, guys. Too easy. You know, it works better if you have the metal side down because the cork kind of makes it a little wonky. Little wonky. I've been looking for my rotary cutter for a couple of weeks now. Could have sworn it was on my desk. Now it could tear it, but I don't know if you can see, I have just a little bit of the page below sticking up and out because it's not, it's not straight. And that's due to somebody who can't, who was freehand cutting. Oh, I'm great at wonky. This is why I wobble cut. This is, this is, that's exactly why I wobble cut. Well, I think I chewed that piece. We'll find out. I think the glue's just a little wet still, possibly. So the edges are a little bit wet. So I'm not getting as neat a cut as I wanted. It's good. It's good. It's good. All right. So now I'm going to trim this down. And again, the cool thing is, is this side, it's okay if I cut some of the stuff that's already there. All right. Corner needs just a little bit of a trim in. I didn't quite get it. There we go. And this folds. Okay, so we have the fold down with a little window and a flower. We have this pocket. But it's got a hole. So it has to be big things that go in the pocket. Too much water? Yeah. So I want to put a pocket up here. This did not come together as nice as I had wanted it to. Remember I said about the edge not lining up nice? I'm going to have to put some uh, washi tape or something under there. And then before I put the pocket on, because it does it doesn't lie nice. But this is gonna be a cute little thing. Little thing. But see, as soon as I fold it, I get this happy edge thing happening. What have I got that's gonna match this for washi tape? Oh, I want fabric. Oh, I have an 
ideas. I was doing some cleaning yesterday and I came across this fabric. <laughs> I thought, oh, I could use that in journals and things. That's almost the same color if I didn't have those floral bits on. Mm. Mm. Do we want it to look like a band-aid or not? You know what? I really like those little purple flowers. You guys, can you see? Oh, that piece goes on forever. Oh, what's this? Nope. Anyway, I have all these strips of fabric ready to go because I was making bracelets and I wrapped the core with fabric. So, I came across the bin and all these fabric bits were in there. Welcome back. You back? Not quite yet. So, what do you think about that? Cute. I remember now why I don't like envelopes with windows and all that crap. Yeah, <laughs> me too. That's why I chopped them open and was just going to use them as pages. This matching shit is for the birds. It is. Use my language, but that's exact. Well, that's not really exactly what I thought. So I am going to glue this down over that edge. And hope that it does what I want it to because that paper just is not lying nice. Let's hope when I'm done that my pocket really is a pocket and not all glued together everywhere. <laughs> all right. Yeah, it's got some stringies on it, but that's okay. Ooh, you gotta come down just a little bit. Well, we're gonna hope that's gonna stay. I just need those edges to stay down. And you know what? I like those little fringes of the fray. Now, I don't know if I've got, if I can go over this edge. I would really like to go over this edge with this. That could take a little bit of doing. It's thin enough that it's not going to pucker too much. You know what I mean? Around the curves. I think I'm going to try that. What have I got to lose? A piece of paper, a piece of fabric. I'm sure you have more. I do. I could even put it across here. I could put it on all the folds. I got lots of this little thin, strippy, florally fabric. I might just do that. could be very interesting okay so now we're gonna try this very very carefully oh should I go all the way mm, no I'm just gonna do this curvy edge for now very thin strip of glue around Got to make sure you get the curves when you do this. That was a deep sigh, ma'am. Yes, it was. I could lie and say my tooth is hurting. Oh, do you need to go? No, I said I could lie and say my tooth is hurting. I'm trying to give you a note, hon. <laughs>
Well, heck, that was easier than drawing the dang lines with the ruler. Really? Mm-hmm. I just, it's thick enough now that it's left me a good score line to cut. Um, and it is 11 o'clock central time. Our live on Sunday. It's not my regular streaming time. Okay, so I do have a few little puckers. I am going to have to just do a little snip in the guinea curve. I think. We'll find out. I can never remember. Ah, I'll just snip all the curves. It'll be what it's going to be, guys. I know those of you who are seamstresses and do such beautiful fiber artwork, you're going, what the heck is that woman doing? Well, let me tell you, I have no clue. There, you heard it here first. Temperature dropped to 45. Oh. Welcome back, Belinda. I am making a mess. And you know what? It's not surprising in any way, shape, or form. I am aware. in with a touch up of glue in a couple of places but for the most part I think it's pretty darn good whoa don't try and catch falling scissors you knives guys just so you know you just let them go so that's not too bad I like I said I'm gonna have to come in and do just a little bit of a touch in a couple of places with glue to get it down nice. I did have to snip it. But I think they can do these on videos and they have no problems and everything lines up perfect every time. Because they do 200 of them before they go online. And because they don't want anybody to see that mistakes happen. You know? Yeah, I suppose. I do my videos so people can see mistakes. I think mistakes are important. I think mistakes are important, too. We all know I make enough of them. Ditto. Okay, so I need to just trim this edge. because It's really raw and fuzzy. Don't really care, but not sure what this is going to be used for, like I say. And we can trim off some of this hairy stuff. All right. So now we're going to do some pockets. I'll do one, two, three pockets. And then on here, I could do Are like... you still on your first one? Yes. Okay, good. Because I deviated so far that it's now 
I don't know what. It's okay. I'm just glad to hear it. That's all. Okay, as I was saying, guys, one pocket here would be good. Two on here. We've got this big tuck spot in here. Or this big pocket that has to have big stuff only in it. I guess I'm going to have to put a thumb hole in that. Oh, yes, I like the, the fabric over the raw edges. I'm going to have to do some up there and down here. Uh, then I would have to do all the edges, wouldn't I? No, we're not doing that. <laughs> Maybe I'll just make sure that I've got muck water to uh, do the edges. But this would be much easier to do with an envelope, of course, right? Because, you know, you fold it. It wouldn't be as big, too. You've got your fold. You've got this one. So you cut it open down this side. So you've got it to open. You know how it goes. Okay. So. Oh, what about this? Is that too bright? Which pink? Light pink, dark pink. Yeah, muck water would be much easier and faster. And I've got some pink muck water right now. It's actually quite a nice pink. Well, which does your water go with better? That's a good question. Let's go find the water in the sea. Um, probably this one. It's almost like a skinnish tone, kind of. You picked up a lot of gray from the bottom because I leave it sit, right? So that the, some of the water evap, or yeah, water evaporates. So that the paint becomes more intense. You know, let's just try it first and we'll find out. Then we'll decide on pockets, right? Just grabbing a brush. And here we go with the muck water. Oh, I should have done that edge. Look, I can still do that edge. Wait, I have a plan. I need a piece of scrap paper. Oh, I just used this book page. It's here. Test it on a separate scrap first. Where's the fun in that? <laughs> I could. I definitely could. There, so the flower is protected. Okay, let's try it on this piece right here. Right here. It needs a bit of water in it, actually. Just a little bit. Nope. I like it. I like it. I really do. I don't know how well you can see it. <laughs> You're not very centered. On... Oh, I'm not centered. Does that surprise you? <laughs> oh, on balance, I was conceived on the side of a hill. my excuse anyway here we go muck water oh i like it it's gonna take that stark white off there for sure
I'm going to have to uh, put a thumb hole in this as well, Jean. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of a gray pink. I don't know what you would call that. But I like it. It's more of a grayish. So I put this paper in here so that I could go around this edge too. Because we just want to grunge it. We don't want to um, paint it, right? So I'm going to do around these edges. This is Kim. It is. It is. I've come to the conclusion that uh, this is the reason my desk is always so messy, why I can't have one of those pristine desks like other crafters, because I make stuff up as I go. Yeah. And so then I'm pulling all kinds of junk out, right? Doing a lot here. Doing a lot here. There. I think that muck water is the perfect answer to this. I will show you guys in a minute. I will do a big close up so that you guys can see. All right. I go in big, Jean. Okay. Well, I'm digging anyway, so. All right. Oh, where is that cursor? My goodness. Oh, sorry, folks, you know how this works. Okay, so. Edged here. Around the window, I have blue and fabric strings stuck to my finger. <laughs> I edged this. That will need another coat. I have to get rid of that. Um, I'll do this edge again and possibly around the window again. This side, I have it. Guys, can you guys see? Can you guys see this? Mm hmm. So it's, it's around these three edges this edge down the, across the bottom and then I did this hinged side, this fold side. Cool. I think that worked good, that muck water. <laughs> ah, thanks, Anne. <laughs> thanks, thanks. Yeah. And then, of course, like I was saying, this is um, just a inkjet printer. So possibly some of the ink ran into it as well. I don't know. But I like the little bits of fabric. Just adds a little something different. Now I almost want to do a little bow out of that fabric and put it over here. 
Don't ask why. I don't know. So we're going to pull out that piece of paper and see how well that window turned out. Oh, yes, the window edging turned out nice. Just a hint of a muck. Just a hint. Of course, I can always come and do a black with a marker after, and then it would be two tone and be quite cute. Okay, so we're to this point. We have the flip up. This is a pocket, the side pocket. Now I want to put a pocket here, 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 and maybe a tuck spot here, and something here. There should be something really fun right here, right here. Maybe a couple trashy flowers, found trashy flowers. Let's put those on first. <coughs> of course, I don't have any that match because I don't make matching things as a rule when I'm doing that kind of stuff. I have this one. It's pretty lovely. I think that one's too bright. I don't know. Let's find something that's already cut out so that it's easier for me. I've got that one. Oh, this one's fun. Okay. We're doing fan trashy flowers. This and this one to the side. That bottom one will be fussy cut out. What about something like that? Can you guys see? I go big. No, I won't. Can't find the cursor. There we go. What about something like that? Those three flowers. Looks cool. Fabric bowls? Oh, yeah. Fabric bowls are lovely. Do you do those ones for in the micro microwave? Like soup cozies, Anne? Oh, cursor. Curse you, cursor. These are originals. I think these are the ones that I scanned in for you guys to use. Not sure. But you can find those on the community tab here or meet your creativity. Do you need to be big, Jean? Show folks what you're doing. I'm just cussy cutting. Um, I don't care. I'm putting a little pretty in there. You're putting a little pretty in there? Okay. I'm going to make you big. Hang on. You know, Cursor, you and me are just not good friends. Hey, Andrew, <laughs> nice to see you. No problem, Anne. I was asking you, Anne, the fabric bowls that you make, are they like the uh, soup cozies, the soup bowl warmers for in the microwave? I um, laid these out the way I liked them, and so I wouldn't forget I took a picture of my phone on my phone so I can put them back the way I liked them. Well, you guys are just organized like that. Hmm. 
really like i've seen so many people do that they were doing that at that course i took a couple of weeks ago they laid everything out and then they took pictures with their phone and they put them back that way i just won it <laughs> yeah that doesn't surprise sometimes, me sometimes i just do it but i have to have so much of this i mean some of the shows under the flap and some don't right and i don't want to keep flipping and flapping yeah i get you i get you i don't know why i'm cutting out this whole stem and leaves because they're gonna get lopped off anyway okay this one's getting glued here Oh no. Sorry to hear that. You okay? Like are are you guys okay? And yeah, I know your daughter's older, but I still call all kids walking Petri dishes. I mean, my daughters are out in public and, you know, they bring things home. Thank you very much. I guess probably their kids that brought it over, but I, you know, I can blame my kids. Yeah. I want to blame my grandkids, you know. My grandkids are perfect. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Grandkids can't do any wrong. My oh. kids can hurt somebody and I turn them in, but my grandkids, I'm going to hide them. Yeah. Oh, and congratulate her for me. That's fabulous. That's absolutely fabulous. Yeah, congratulations. Okay, so this gets glued. This gets glued. See, I did the picture and I still did it wrong. <laughs> Was it backwards? Yep, this line right here. Yeah. To go right here. Oh dear. It's all right. It's okay. I can make it work somehow. So I think I've given up on that 100 day challenge, guys. Even though. Did you make it 10 days? I made it 20 something days. So I did very well. So, you know, that's, if you made it 10 days, you did 10%. That's good. Well, I made more than that. I did over 20, so I did 20%. But it's bad I didn't finish my scavenger hunt this year. Hey, Kevin, nice to see you. Thank you for sharing, hun. We are... Well, we were supposed to be adapting envelopes, changing envelopes, like used envelopes, into something to use in journals. And, of course, I'm doing my own thing because I don't follow even my own rules. It's just what I do. Okay, so I have fan trashy flowers. It flips up. This is the pocket. There's going to be a pocket here. Open it. Two pockets. And still have to decide what's going over there. You know what? I think I might even have it this way. What do you think, Jean? Do I have that flap over? And then you see the um, window. I see you. 
Oh, you can't see me. <laughs> okay, watch this. There she is. Okay, so I like it this way with the, the flap over. So you open it, you have the window. There's going to be a pocket on here. This is a side tuck pocket. A pocket here, a pocket here, and I still have to decide what to do on there. Maybe a tuck spot. That would work. Hey, Kim, have you ever heard less is more? <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, but have you met me? <laughs> I'm you didn't kick me out. <laughs> it's not your fault that I altered directions, Anne. <laughs> oh. It's all right. I'm not really following the directions either. I'm I'm using the concept, and I think that's what art's about. I think so too. Because if we were doing what she was doing, then it wouldn't be us, would it? Nope. Not at all. And the thing is, since she said. It's all the rage on the crafting channels right now. A, I don't follow the rage as a rule. And B, there's so many different ways to do it. They don't have to be done all the same. Right? Absolutely. Hey, Susan, welcome back. Put a pocket on the back. Yeah, there's a rage of them. That's what I heard. Hey, Kim. Hello. So I have this concept <gasps> in my head. Okay, I'm listening. How, I many, have people, share how many people are watching? How many people are watching? Uh -huh. 11. Okay, I think I want to give this away. I think I'm going to give mine away too. How's so, that, guys? I was just thinking, I never do giveaways. I should do giveaways. Why don't I do giveaways? I've got so much junk. I guess I shouldn't put it like that, huh? <laughs> oh, really, Anne? See, I never excelled at sewing because I know you're supposed to go with the grain and stuff, but I would pick fabrics that did not work going with the grain. So I just wung it. Nothing really fit nice. And ended up, up with a lot of schmatas. And I've had people in my, in classes. And um, it's like, I don't know what to do. Because this isn't the same stuff as the picture. I'm like, Really? But yeah. it happens. It happens. Oh, I know. I, I did one of those paint nights. And I took a class with the neighbor. And she followed along with the class really nicely. And I kind of looked at it and did my own thing. It was still a landscape, but we all know how much I like doing landscapes, for one. It was interesting. Susan, you said putting put a pocket on the back as well? I could. I think I'll use this and put a pocket on the back. I could do a big pocket, a nice deep pocket on the back. That's a great idea. All right. So I need to go and use my paper trimmer to actually cut these kind of square, rectangular, you know. I'll be right back. In the general vicinity of a square. Pardon? In the general vicinity of a square. Yeah. <laughs> It'll have four sides. Beyond that, you know, you guys know. I know you know. I have three rectangles, three pockets. 
This is that really thin. That's that paper I got from the dollar store, the colored paper. So it's thin, like thin, thin. Maybe two. I could do two out of that. So I'm going to back these with um, book page because they're so stinking thin. So I'm going to do it so that I can fold the top bit of the pink over to, so that there will be a triple layer for the top edge of these pockets. And look at that. I turned the plain piece up over again to fold it. <laughs> but to glue it. Wow. That's really muscle memory, I tell you. Total muscle memory because it sure isn't brain. <laughs> so any of you who have a channel and you're trying to grow your channel, please check out Tuber Chat. Check out Kevin. He has, he helps out us little peeps. And he's Canadian too. Maybe two pockets? I could do maybe two pockets. I have enough of that. So there's one. And of course, they are not the same sizes. And I know that doesn't surprise any of you either. One pocket. Ha, 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 ha. And again, did you see it? I flipped the page over. I'm gluing. I'm gluing. Who's got exciting plans for the weekend? I have really exciting plans for Sunday. What are you doing Sunday? We're having a streamathon thing, thing. Oh. A streamy get together, play date. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> That's because I'm making you do something you don't want to do. <laughs> I know. See how evil you are? I am. <laughs> I am evil. I admit it. So we, the ladies that are getting together on Sunday, we were kind of chatting this morning. Um, because everybody does this stuff, but they don't necessarily know the terminology that a lot of people use for it. I just kind of follow the trend and thought you just said you weren't a trend follower. Well, you know. You lied. Depends on what the trend is. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I know what some of these things are called by other people. How's that? There you go. A lot of these things are made up words, too. So, there's the second pocket. Um, so, we were discussing about if you didn't know what it was, they were just going to wing it, right? So I've come up with an idea that maybe we should, or I'll get Ron or somebody to look up an obscure art terminology kind of thing, and then we will get together on the Sunday. Oh, happy anniversary, Teresa. How are you doing, hon? Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Hugs, Teresa. You okay? So if we had this obscure thing, then we would all come on and do what we think it meant. I know that there's going to be some of you guys that do know what it means. 
and then we're going to compare, and then we're going to find out exactly what it's supposed to be. Doesn't that sound like fun? Mm, maybe. <laughs> oh, come on. I think it would be an absolute blast. Yeah, it probably would be. I would have fun with it. I'm just going to suck you guys into my hole. <laughs> Here, we're going to do this. Let's play. I think it'll be lots of fun. You okay? Okay. <laughs> but I'm not going to tell you what the word is until the day before. Well, yeah, you still have time to Google it, I guess. Maybe I won't tell you until we get on. And then we'll have a yeah. few minutes to think. You must wait until we get on. Yeah. Some of us may know. Some of them may know. <laughs> yeah. An obscure one like Navajo. <laughs> I can do it in Cree. I think that would be an absolute blast. Just saying. Well, and you know, it could be your interpretation of who, you know. Exactly. Art you is may, ecstatic. Well, you may see it as one thing, and uh, okay, Navajo, you may see that as some, you know, feathers and powwows and dances, and and I might see it as red, yellow, blue, and green. You know, blankets and pattern and yeah desert and the colors yeah look i have little little pockets the pockets are naked guys Damn it. Your background's printmaking? Okay. You cringe sometimes? Oh, don't watch me if I'm printmaking, Marguerite, please. It's all pictures? Cool, Teresa. Is it like a coffee table book? Okay, so I'm gluing pockets on. Oh, I should have muck watered them first. <gasps> ah, well, let's do that fast before the glue dries. Muck water's not going to show up as nice on this darker pink, I don't think. It could be a lot of fun, though. I think I think it would be a nice challenge. That's if people are up for challenges. Not everybody likes to be challenged. I'm just naturally challenged. And you said it, we didn't. I know. Oh, mucky fingers in the middle. Uh, well, you know what? I'm going to spatter this sucker then. <laughs> I don't know how I did that. How did I do that? <sighs> oh, well. Oh, that sounds awesome, Marguerite. 
Oh, okay, Teresa. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, I'm going to do these before I put glue on. Oh, that's just really mucky. Mm, yeah, we're going to spatter this. I don't have a choice now. Okay, Teresa. Yeah, definitely gray in my pink water is okay. Just try not to hit the bottom of the cup, Kim. So this was a lovely pink muck water, but I stirred it and I got a bunch of gray particles. I picked up the gray particles. Pink and gray look good together. They do. <laughs> I'm just doing a little bit of a spatter on it now because we need to uh, make the whole thing look grungy. Yes, she does. She posted stuff in my Facebook group. She did just do those. Those were the ones with the um, gold leaf. Those are ends. That first one does look like a flower garden. And I was going to comment that. Notice Joni did. No, but okay, it's not just me. I think they're like Rorschach tests, a lot of these things that we do. I want more of this washi tape. What kind of washi tape is it? I don't know, but I just love this. It's a like a dirty mustard color. Okay. I don't know. I really like it a lot. And there's not much on here. Oh. So that kind of makes me sad. Do you remember where you got it? Uh-huh. But it was in a whole set. It wasn't by itself. Of course. So annoying. Note to self, let the mock water dry before you put glue on because it could be too wet for the glue to stick to. <laughs> the things yeah. we're learning today, guys. I think I'm done. <gasps> I'm just about done. Just about done. The worst part is those windows aren't straight. That's going to irritate you. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to have to live. Well, no, I don't have to live with it. Whoever wins it has to live with it. True. How are we going to do these draws? Well, we could... We could do something. We could have them pick a number. And the one closest without going, not over. going over wins one. And the one closest going over wins one. Oh. Well, since I'm older than you, then the one over is mine. How's that? Or if we have one in Canada and one USA, we could do it. But we way. don't have an equal number sure. of viewers from both countries oh and i don't mind mailing an envelope i don't either i mean this is this is what that dollar ten dollar twenty five one something like yeah, that something like that 
Okay, this is not straight. Whoever's going to get this, I hope you don't have OCD for straight edges. Ditto. I got this one where I'm okay with it, but this one just... Okay, let's make Jean big and take a look at hers. All right. So there it is. And then I have a little collage thing here. And a little collage thing here. Little piece of mustard colored fabric. And then I have two bookmark things. I was going to put some short ones in there and I might send some short ones with it. So if you use it in a book, you got a little bit more stuff to match it. But the pocket's pretty deep and um, the cards that go with this set are, you know, short cards. So, And nothing on the back. I left the back just like this. Just like that? Yep. Thanks, Anne. I like it. Okay, I show mine. Then. Okay. Find my cursor. There we go. So, mine goes this way. Make yourself big. I'll make myself big. Ha! Ah. There we go. So, it's lovely in pinks. So, it goes this way. I will put a tuck spot here. I'm not quite done yet. So this flips over. We do have a pocket in this side here. Then we've got the three pockets. And I will put a pocket on the back out of this pink. See, you're a pocket fool. I'm a little collage fool. Well, I like pockets and I like collage. I'm not so fond of pockets because then I have to fill them. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I have lots of little bits that can go in these pockets. True. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm going to quickly put those two on the back. Or one on the back. I could get away with two or one. One big deep one. Okay, I'm going to go trim this and glue it down. And if you want to start the uh, number thing. Okay. So we'll just do 1 through 30. I'll put a go in. And everybody pick a number between 1 and 30. There's your go. Come on, peoples. Pick a number, pick a number. There we go. Oh, thanks, Belinda. You know, I'm a maximalist. I admit it. Those of you who have <laughs> seen pictures of my living room can probably understand that. Marguerite, you need to change your number. Well, the timestamp is the same for Belinda and Marguerite, but it shows up as Marguerite being the second one. So Okay. I told you how much I moved in temperature water. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and just so you guys know, because this is going from Canada to the States, I can't put any like paper clips or anything in it. Um, because evidently there's a read on a couple of sites now about you know how I was complaining about my post lady saying it's going to get sent back. It's, and I have been lucky that it never was. And then the lady in the next town 
was letting everything go through. Well, evidently, it's the uh, U.S. Customs. They get it. And if it doesn't feel like it's just a card or just paper stuff, they send it back. So there will not be anything metal attached. It'll just feel like a card. So then you'll have to have it as a package, right? Yeah. And package shipping is stupid. Stupid expensive. So is everyone putting in the number that they want? I think we got Marguerite where she needs to be finally. Okay. She must have favorite numbers like everybody else does. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll go ahead and put a stop. All right. Hey, Siri. Mm -hmm. Pick a mm -hmm. random number between 1 and 30. The answer is 4. 4. four. Huh. So the closest without going over is Teresa. Yeah. And the closest going over is Susan. Susan. All right. So, Susan, I have your address to give Kim. That's good. Teresa, I don't, do I have your address? I've got Teresa's address. Let me just check. I know I had it. I know I've sent stuff to Teresa. I should have Susan's memorized. Um, Teresa, I don't have your address. Why didn't I write it down in my book? Huh. Teresa, can you... Uh, send me your address and I can send it to Jean. Yeah, I don't know why I wouldn't have written it down. I really don't know why. No, I don't have yours, Susan. Uh, Jean will give me your address and I will give June, uh, uh, Jean Teresa's address. that work guys you know what Teresa it could even be in our chat it's in Beth's group okay I can get it from Beth's group unless Jean are you in Beth's group um I don't know Okay, I will get it from Beth's group and give it to you. How's that? Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll get it from Beth's group, Teresa. Thank you. Yes, yes. All right. Honestly, so, yeah. I don't know whose group I'm in because I'm not on Facebook a whole lot. To kind of skim and see what I need to see. Awesome. 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 Well, we really deviated from the original plan. That does not surprise me in the least. I feel much happier when I do that. <laughs> no, we made what we intended to make. Yes, we did. We did flippy floppy tuck things. That's right. We did. We did. This is the one I'm ready to do next. Because I, I want this to be bugs. You want bugs? Yeah, because I have 
I don't know if you can see this sheet of paper right here, but I have a full 12 by 12 of this. Okay. I, I think that bugs need to be part of it. Oh, very I don't cool. Know why? You know, kind of maybe your bug collecting journal. I don't know. Cool. Very, very cool. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, it has been two hours. And I don't know if you want to sit through while we do another one or if you've got plans. How are you feeling, Jean? Let me ask you. Yeah, I, I think it's time for me to. Time to go? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then we will call it a day. Don't forget, Sunday is going to be the group uh, make it challenge, play date, whatever we're doing. Uh, using gel prints, there's a whole group of us going to be here. They will all be listed in the description box on Sunday. They are listed. I've posted the thing in my group, Beth's group, Dana's group, Becca's group. And um, so everybody playing is listed. But we'll all be here on my channel Sunday, creating together. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So take care, everybody. Enjoy your evening. It's Friday and tomorrow. And we will see you Sunday, 11 o'clock Central on my channel. Thank you very much, Jean, for coming and playing. I know that your mouth is sore. Yep. It's okay. Okay. I'm actually going to have a real meal tonight. Hubby's awesome. making shrimp linguine. Ooh. He usually puts broccoli in it, but we're not putting broccoli in it. Okay. And if I can't eat the shrimp, that's okay because I can eat the noodles. Great. Awesome. It'll still taste lovely. Lovely, lovely. Yes. Thank you guys all for being here. Thanks, everybody in the balcony. Thanks, everybody who watches the replay. I hope you guys all have a wonderful couple of days until we see you on Sunday. Take care, everybody. Bye, everyone. Thanks for coming. I have to find the cursor. <laughs> Here we go. Bye, guys. See you Bye. soon.